quite often when we're feeder fishing it's quite easy to just automatically assume that you're going to be using ground bait. When I speak to people on the bank on coaching sessions or they're sending me messages through messenger and email and they're asking me about feeder fishing one of the first things they always ask is what type of ground bait mix would I recommend for that scenario. Now that is let's face it quite often the most common way of fishing with a feeder however there are occasions when the fish don't want ground bait or by just feeding maggots that will get you a much better response and now that we're just going into winter that can be even more important quite often just feeding maggots on their own can be a fantastic way of catching virtually anything that swims and when lakes and rivers start to go clearer in clarity that's when just feeding maggots on their own can be absolutely devastating now there are two ways of doing that with a feeder the most common way and most familiar to you will probably be a maggot feeder quite simply a maggot feeder is just a way of introducing maggots on their own the maggots escape by riddling out of the holes of the feeder and that could be a great way of catching virtually anything you know carp bream roach species of all all different shapes and sizes will eat maggots however the downside to that is that when you put your maggots into your feeder before you cast it out those maggots are inevitably at air temperature all right now when we're fishing venues when the water is much colder then that will slow the maggots down as soon as they hit the water as soon as they go into that cooler water it will slow them down which means they're going to be exiting the feeder much much slower and there are occasions even in summer when we might be targeting carp or um, fish that are really hungry and wanting maggots quickly where a maggot feeder just quite simply doesn't empty quick enough in order to get that bait to the actual fish and that is where sticky mag comes in sticky mag is something that you add to maggots on their own and it as the name suggests it sticks them together however once that adhesive if you want to call it that enters the water the water breaks it down and allows the maggots to go back to their natural state so this video is just going to be showing you a nice and simple step-by-step -step guide of how to use sticky mag when you're fishing with the feeder now in order to make sticky mag work there are four key things that you need in order to get it right now the first thing as you can expect are the maggots usually the fresher the maggots the better and live maggots okay they need to be riddling so fresh maggots is the first key thing that you need the next key bit of kit you're going to need is a riddle and that is because you're going to need to riddle and sieve off anything that the maggots are actually in so whether that be flour sawdust maize whatever it is that's already on your maggots you need your maggots to be nice and clean in order for the sticky mag to work so the next thing you're going to need you're going to need to something to riddle those maggots off the key ingredient that you're going to need is the actual sticky mag itself now this is quite readily available in, in tattle shops you can obviously get it online as well and there are two or three different types out there i personally have only ever used this one okay now i have been told that there are better ones out there on the market than this whether that's true or not i don't actually know there is one called arabic gum now that's the one that i've been told that is the stickiest one on the market and the best however i have never used that when i first started fishing with sticky mag a few years ago the only one that was available to me was the census one and that's all i ever ever used i've had great results using it and i haven't had any problems using it so if the other one is better then that's fine however this one has done everything that i need it to do and the final bit of kit that you're going to need is an atomizer okay now there are loads of atomizers out there you could even recycle one many household products are supplied in atomizers and when you've finished using that whatever it might be it might be a cleaning fluid it could be anything you can obviously recycle them so you, you don't need to go out and buy an expensive one however this one was about 20 pounds and this has lasted me about five or six years now if you're going to be doing a lots of fishing of this style then I would recommend investing in a good one the reason 
reason for that is because as you can see it's got a great capacity to it so if you're going to be using it a lot then obviously it holds a lot of water this has got the pump action on it as well which means you can pressurize it and that enables you to have a sustained spray when you're actually spraying water on whether it be maggots and you can even use this for when you're mixing ground bait as well if you mix ground bait with a drill then this is the same atomizer that I use so it will do multi jobs but if you're going to be you know using sticky mag a lot then this just gives you a little bit more flexibility so step one is clean your maggots it's amazing sometimes by looking at maggots you think they're reasonably clean but it's amazing how much um, you know whatever these maggots are in whether it be maize or anything like that it's amazing how many you know how much is actually on it you'll be surprised when you do clean them but they've got to be clean in order for the sticky mag to work so put, pop them on your sieve or your riddle and give them a good clean okay now there are certain people on the continent and some people go to the extreme and what they actually do is get a towel or a cloth and dampen it down and then rub that over the maggots and that will obviously get off even more excess okay so if you're having trouble with the sticky mag working that might be something that you need to do okay I'm not going to do that with these because more often than not I've found that I don't need to but that is something you can do if you're having trouble with it working okay so get everything off them you can see how much how much has actually come off there it's surprising okay pop them back in there so now we've got clean maggots all right nothing on them they're nice and clean now this is step two the next bit you need to do is get your sticky mag it's better to do this on a nice open tray like this or a nice bowl okay there are lots of people on the continent that have got specific trays for doing this all right but a nice big bowl like this will work and that's because we want to access um, a wider surface area of the maggots themselves okay when we start spraying so the first thing we then do is get your sticky mag or your maggot fix and just give it a nice covering okay now depending on the quality of your sticky mag it may depend on the amount or the volume of this that you've got to put on okay so if the arabic gum one is better like people say you might not need to put as much on okay now the next step we need then is to give them a spray okay so you need to put your atomizer on the nice wide spray okay and just give them a nice spray all right now my best bit of advice to you from someone who was kind of almost self-taught at fishing with this is don't rush this process this will take time all right so don't leave this while the last minute before your match starts all right it will take time and what's going to happen is basically what we've done with the atomizer is we've dampened dampened down the actual sticky mag itself all right and they are now coating the maggots and what you'll see is that gradually the maggots will start to clump together now please don't rush this process I rushed this when I first started learning how to use it and I ended up with maggots that were way way too sticky all right it takes time so don't rush it all you need to do is if you, you know if, it, if you're in two minds or you're just learning how to use it then just add it a little bit you know at a time little and often okay so there are still some maggots there with the dry powder on as you can see you can see the flex of dry so I'm going to give it one more little spray and then I'm literally going to give these five minutes give them five minutes we'll come back to them and if it needs more sticky mag adding then we can add more to it you're better off doing it that way than putting too much in and then ending up with sticky you know with maggots that are way too way too sticky all right you want just enough on so that they're going to hold together so that they're not going to take a hell of a long time to exit the feeder and break down okay so we're going to come back to these in five minutes now it's exactly five minutes later and as you can see they are slowly starting to stick together as you can see just by them riddling themselves they are automatically coating the other maggots as well just but as you can see look that's only been five minutes you saw how much I put on and that would possibly already that would already squeeze into a ball okay so I put a very little amount on and yet they're already sticking now if I was to add more water to these they might go a little bit stickier but if I wanted them stickier than that then I could simply add more 
of the actual powder to it. But as you can see, they're sticking together lovely. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna put any more on these. They look like, at the moment, we could fish with those as they are now. However, over the next five minutes or so, we'll know if they're gonna change. But as you can see, they've stuck together really, really nice and easily, literally within five minutes. Now, these have been exactly 10 minutes now, and these are already in a state that we could fish with, with a cage feeder. What you've got to remember is, you know, the, the more powder that you put on, the stickier it, these maggots are going to be. So if you want to introduce these, for example, into deeper water, or you put them in a feeder, for example, that, you know, on a venue that's quite deep, and you want to make sure that they are still going to be intact in a ball in the feeder when it hits the bottom, then in that scenario, just add more powder. It's very much something that you just mix according to the situation that you're faced with. So these are already sticking together. That's literally only taking 10 minutes, but let's have a look at how they actually exit the feeder. As you can see, they're all in their feeder. You could cast that hell of a long way. That will stay in the feeder and we could just lay that in. We could see how they actually empty. Like I said before, if you're fishing in deeper water, if you want to have a slower release of the actual maggots, then you can just put less of the sticky mag on. In this case, we only put a light sprinkling. As you can see, they're already exiting the feeder within you know, 20 seconds easily. Okay, now there are occasions when you might be, for example, if you're catching carp, you might be catching carp where you're getting the bite almost as soon as the feeder is hitting the bottom. If that's the case, then you don't want too much sticky mag on because if you're gonna be hooking a fish straight away, then you wanna leave these maggots actually on the bottom, right where you're hitting your clip, right where you're fishing. Otherwise, if these were too sticky, when you hook that fish, as soon as your feeder goes in, these would actually, because they're so sticky, they would still be emptying from the feeder whilst your feed is actually coming back towards you while you play the fish and therefore that'll be spreading your bait everywhere. So as you can see, it's less than a minute now and that is virtually empty. It's a fantastic way of introducing just maggots without anything else and you can introduce them very, very quickly. So as you can see, it really is a simple method. It's something that can give you a massive advantage, especially in winter. We hope you found this video useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from this channel. So thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you next time.